Hey guys, it's Jacqueline over here at Homeschool Hangout, and today we are doing a review of Quest for the King's Crown by Focus on the Family. If you like these kinds of little book reviews, novel reviews for kids, do me a favor, thumbs up, like. If you just like me, thumbs up, like, subscribe, all the things, find me on social media. Let's get into it. So first things first, and this is the last one I am doing of these. I received this complimentary product as part of the Homeschool Review Crew for a review. All thoughts and opinions are mine and mine alone. Not the last book I'll ever receive, trust me, but it's my last thing with the Homeschool Review Crew, and I'm a little sad. I was actually in, like, their first year they ever did this, like, back in 2008, too, before I did YouTube, so... But anyways, so this is Quest for the King's Crown by Robert Vernon, and it is part of the Last Chance Detective series by Focus on the Family. It's book seven, and I'm just going to do a quick little overview. Book reviews can always be so hinky, you don't want to ruin them. It is um, a juvenile fiction, so this is aimed at elementary school, really, maybe um, a young reader, junior high kind of thing. I had my 15-year-old read it so that she could get all the way through it um, during my review period and get this review out to you guys. And she liked it. She says it's great for the age that it was written for. That is literally what she says. Well written for age it's aimed at. I have, I have notes of hers here. Um, one of the things she really liked, because this is a series, it gave enough context that if you picked up this book out of the middle of the series, it wouldn't be a big deal. But it was concise enough that if you were a series reader, you would not be bored. That is always kind of the hard part sometimes in series is if you're not diehard, you don't have any idea really what's going on, but or you're bored to death if you read them all. Um, she liked it because this is what I like to consider historical fiction adjacent. It isn't a historical fiction. But they are looking for artifacts from a time period, and so they end up discussing a lot of history. So it's kind of history adjacent, and she felt that it was really um, good at that. It shared facts. It shared things along those lines. Uh, she personally liked the well-executed twists was her line. It seems to definitely, if you have a student who is easily on edge, easily nervous, this might be a little too exciting. So just look at it, read it with them. Um, there's a little bit of, you know, cliffhangery. I mean, it's resolved in the book, but like, you know, paddling out on things. I'm looking at it because I was reading it yesterday again and was looking at it going, you know, they're on a canoe and things can happen and, and everyone's fine, but it could be a little... I don't know how else to say it exciting. I, I never really thought about this before until I had kids when they were young have nightmares from watching Merlin. So just be aware if you have a really nervous child, just take a look at it before you give it to them. Focus on the Family is a Christian organization, so it definitely has religious connotations in, in it. So just be aware of that. Um, for me, this is something I look for, but I know for other people that is an issue. Uh, specifically the history though that you're going to be talking about a little bit is time from the Spanish colonization in the United States and conquistadors and things along that. So for my youngest child, I'm going to probably uh, pair this with some actual history about Spanish colonization here in the U.S. And I'll have him read it then and just break it up. It is, I did not remember to write this down, it's 144 pages. I don't know if it comes out in hardback, but this is a paperback, as they all are. This is an older series that I think they said they brought back, but I'm not sure on that. I remember um, mentions of The Last Chance Detectives when my older children were younger. It may have been new. They may have added more books, but yeah. It was pretty good, though. Um, characters are likable. It moves quickly. It is not boring. And it is chapters. I'm just... Thinking about the other thing, there's a little historical prologue, and yeah, I, I recommend it. It's great free reading for your kids, even if you don't want to pair it with something, quote, quote, educational. I think it's a good, fun book, and I personally 
I love a series. So I would recommend checking them all out. And thank you from fo to Focus on the Family for sending it over. If you want to get some other opinions, there is a link to more reviews down in the bottom in the gobbledygook, along with the link of where you can buy this. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.